thank you for letting me open day two of the Let Us Dream International Conference. Over the course of this conference, more than 25,000 people will participate in learning how to build networks that are sustainable, that can help our communities. We were fortunate enough last year to host the conference live here at our College of Community and Public Affairs. And one of the benefits of hosting a conference, especially the live ones, are the participation of all the people that helped to organize it, from our first year students to our most advanced faculty members, working together to create an itinerary, an agenda, and to host that conference was a great experience. I can imagine that what's happening right now to pull this one together virtually is just as challenging and perhaps in many ways more challenging. The model of education that we use at CCPA is that the research has to inform the education of our students by their internships and service learning in our local community that has a real and measurable impact. These internships provide a tremendous experience for our students to learn the impacts of service learning and community engagement on the entire world and their experiences will help those partners in the future. The topic and theme of this conference has a lot to do with healthcare. And what better thing to be discussing right now as we're in the middle of this pandemic, but how we can support the healthcare systems around the world. Today's keynotes and panelists are going to discuss two critical issues. Mental health, probably the number one concern right now in our nation and in the world. And secondly, the disparities of healthcare that people have access to, not just here, but everywhere in the world. Certainly, I want to thank the team leaders, panelists, moderators, and keynotes who are providing valuable information to our audience, and I know it was a lot of work to pull this together. Certainly, we want to thank Christ University in Bangalore, India. We want to thank the Catholic University of Applied Sciences in Germany, our own Binghamton University here in Binghamton, New York, Louisiana Tech University, as well as Grambling State University. Thank you so much for pulling this together and partnering in such a great way. And of course, I'd like to thank my friend, Father Lijo Thomas, who helped organize this conference, but also is the founder of the Let Us Dream organization. Thank you so much, Father. I hope to see you soon. And I want to thank the thousands of people who have watched and participated in this conference. While being virtual isn't always the best thing, it does have that added advantage of being able to reach so many people in such an efficient way. So thank you for being part of this conference as well. I hope you have a great conference. And here's your assignment. Listen carefully, take notes, and especially bring those ideas back to your organization and implement them. That's the goal of a successful conference. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you in person soon.